my hero's journey. When I was about 15, my mom gave me my first um, computer, which was a Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus with a whopping 48K. And then, <laughs> and then I basically learned, um, I learned basic and also Z80 assembly language. Um, and then eventually I got these, um, I, I was inspired by my friend, my BFF, who's now in Norway, right? Um, I got a Commodore Amiga. Uh, and then I learned uh, Deluxe Paint and I used to make these um, kind of like spinning corporate logos on TV in Nigeria, animations. And then um, I graduated in computer science and then I went to England and I was working these menial jobs and sending out like resumes, like literally hundreds of CVs. And over the course of nine months, I had like, you know, a handful of interviews. And eventually I was interviewed by this company called Cygnosis and they were like, uh, they were headquartered in Liverpool and they were starting like a London office. So I was one of the first like 13 employees of the London office in King's Cross with um, none other than Wayne Kennedy as well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's how I got my first big break into um, video games. So I was making video games. I was working with my heroes and I was getting paid to do it. So that was awesome. So um, that was pretty much the start of my journey. And then from there, I, I kind of, um, Sony bought the company and it became, we started working on PlayStation. I ended up at a company called Silicon Dreams in Banbury, Oxfordshire. And then I was hired out of that company by a software company in Austin, Texas. And at that time, Wayne had moved to Lucasfilm. So he was kind of like my inspiration to come to America. So I came to America and then I ended up at, um, I ended up in California because it's almost inevitable. Once you work with like computers, it's almost like California is this black hole that just sucks in everybody. So um, I ended up in California. I got a job at DreamWorks uh, Interactive, DreamWorks SKG Interactive working on this, my first million selling game Medal of Honor on the PlayStation. And I also got to meet Steven Spielberg, which was awesome. And then I also had, I also got married when I moved to California. <laughs> My son, Alex was born. And um, so after Medal of Honor shipped, I uh, bought my first home in Oxnard. Also my daughter Nefertiti was born. And then I worked on a whole bunch of Sony, PlayStation consoles, PS2, PS3, and, and I did some mobile at Qualcomm. And then um, I did, I wanted to do virtual reality. So I went back to PlayStation and I worked, I was part of the PlayStation VR launch team in the Bay Area. And then that's how I discovered mixed reality, which is what Magic Leap does. And so that's how I ended up at Magic Leap, which is where I am now. So that was my hero's journey. <laughs> Let's see, career-wise, I would say, don't give up um, the title, you know, if you can, especially if you can afford, to, if you have the resources to hold out, don't take, never take a demotion on your title. That's career-wise. Relationship-wise, I would say, um, you can be a great husband, a great dad, and a hard-working employee, but you can't be all three. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to decide which two you're going to be at any one time if you want to hold on to your relationships. I've actually had a few people, you know, like inspire me. My dad was like a very great inspiration. Same thing with my friends, like my friend in Norway, he basically got me into the Amiga thing. Uh, my friend Wayne, who got me to America. So it's usually different things at different times, but I think I'm just inspired by, you know, just the drive to succeed, you know, and despite all the obstacles, right? 
Like, in fact, I think when they throw more obstacles at me, that inspires me to succeed more. <laughs>